Glenn Hoddle passed a fitness test a few hours before the kickoff and hopes to continue his remarkable record against Coventry City. He scored six goals against them in their last three visits to White Hart Lane. There's one change in the Spurs lineup, and that's at number two, where Chris Hewton, who has been out with injury since Boxing Day, returns at the expense of Don McAllister. Gary Brook, who would have played had Hoddle been unfit, is named as substitute. And don't be confused by the numbering in defence. The number four, Graham Roberts, is the left back. And Coventry, by coincidence, have a left back with the same name. He's number three, Brian Roberts. Coventry make two changes after that League Cup defeat at West Ham. At number seven, 19-year-old Steve Jacobs replaces Peter Bodak. And at number 10, Tommy English comes in for Mark Haitley, who's the substitute. Keith Birkinshaw, the Spurs manager, on his way out. And this afternoon's referee is Joe Worrell of Warrington. Tottenham, who start the match playing from right to left, are in the fifth round for the 21st time since the war. That's a record for any club. Coventry wearing sky blue and the flag up immediately. It was Danny Thomas who made the challenge. But the linesman had spotted an offside and it's a free kick to Coventry. This is an all-ticket match with only three sides of the ground being used. The limit was 41,000, although Coventry, whose fans have done a fair bit of travelling this week, had in fact returned some tickets. It was Roberts up with English, then Galvin with Thomas. English looking for Thompson. Lost his place quite early in the season, Tommy English, but got a chance to re-establish himself today. Here's Galvin for Spurs, Brooks, Perryman, good first-time stuff. Has been a feature of Tottenham's game this season. Offside against Thompson. Who's the top scorer for Coventry with 11 goals. Archibald and Dyson. Hoddle. Is Daly missing out? Hoddle again. He's found Crooks. Archibald is in the centre, and so are two others as Hewton joins the attack. Away by Dyson. Here's Perryman. Hoddle. Roberts. Well struck by a player who a year ago was with Weymouth and signed for Spurs around cup final time last year. It would be quite a romantic story if he was to actually reach the FA Cup final this season. Graham Roberts. Here's Jacobs. And the Hilton brought down by Steve Hunt rather heavily. Words exchanged. Referee Joe Worrell quickly on the scene. Wanting a word with Hunt, presumably. So Hoddle to take the kick for Tottenham. Lacey with the header, Crooks is in there. Ardiles! Lacey, Ardiles to Perryman, Dyson, Blair, Gillespie, Miller, now Blair again, Steve Hunt for Coventry, good skill and I think uh, Tottenham felt English was offside but again the linesman's flag stayed down. Ardiles away from Gillespie. Archibald intercepted again by Gillespie and now Dyer. Oh, Ardiles has got a great chance. And he scored. A terrible mistake by Dyson. Oh, a dreadful error by Coventry. And Ozzy Ardiles, with Dyson hanging his head, took advantage. 
Coventry appeared to have averted the danger, but Dyson's back pass went straight to Ardiles, who went round the goalkeeper and put the ball in the net. Really bad moment for Paul Dyson, and Ozzy Ardiles scores his sixth goal of the season. And it's been his best year in terms of goal scoring since he came to White Hart Lane. Really coolly taken goal. Dyson now in the attack, Thompson's on the far post. Crook's being marked by Steve Jacobs. Sardi Lester Hoddle. Nice ball, Crooks, Archie ball hovering in the centre, Crooks shot, comes back off Gillespie, here's Hoddle, the back heel to Ardiles, looking for Hewton, in the corner, intricate play by Tottenham and productive. Wasted by Glenn Hoddle, but here's Galvin from a bad clearance by Daly. Crooks, Graham Roberts still well forward in the area. So is Lacey. Crooks cross. Oh, Dyson missed that completely, and Archibald couldn't believe it. Another heart stopping moment for the Coventry number five. He completely missed his header, and if Archibald had realised that was going to happen, he would surely have reacted quicker than he did. Hoddle drifting in from the right at the moment, that's where the ball's going. Roberts header away. Oh, and a chance for Hewton to cash in perhaps. Here's Perryman. Ardiles. Archibald. Nice back heel to Crooks. And he couldn't turn quite quick enough to get past Danny Thomas. But nice approach play by Steve Archibald. Whose combination this season with Garth Crooks has been a joy for the Tottenham fans to see. 37 goals between them before today. And they really enjoy playing with each other. Adiles cross. Roberts. Hoddles flick. Lacey. Archibald! Archibald scores his 22nd of the season. Made for him by John Lacey, with 33 minutes gone, Spurs go two up. The approach seemed almost harmless, but Coventry just weren't concentrating. Lacey knocked the ball forward, and Archibald, with Seely on his line, volleyed past him. Archibald got two against Coventry in the league match earlier this season. And now he makes it 2-0 in this fifth round FA Cup tie. And that, by the way, is his 19th goal in the last 27 games. Tremendous record. Waiting for Barry Danes to come. So Coventry, so disappointed in the League Cup in midweek, now find themselves two goals down in the FA Cup just a few days later. And for a team whose average age is only 21, 
that's got to be rather disheartening. And there is confidence sapping away here, Ardiles, and it's Crooks. Crooks again, is it going in? No. Well, Dyson's first mistake, Ardiles, Crooks, a save by Seeley, Crooks from the rebound, trickling wide, but it could so easily have been 3-0. Two against two here for a moment. The header was by Miller. Hunt was following up. Just about five minutes left in the first half. Spurs lead 2-0. Here's Thompson for Coventry. And that tackle by Graham Roberts is penalised. Dyson has made his way forward with Gillespie for this free kick. But it's been played short, and here's English, and they weren't concentrating in defence. And Tommy English gets one back with the Tottenham players half asleep. The big men were making their way to the far side of the penalty area, but it was played in short and low and quickly for Tommy English. And as Danes came out, he slid the ball underneath him. So, a Tottenham defence who will reproach themselves for that. And English, restored to the side today, comes back with a goal. And gives Gordon Milne's team renewed hope. Crooks. Oh, Ardiles again. And Seeley held on to it as Archibald came in. again, Archibald and again Tottenham was square and here comes Gary Thompson over the goalkeeper Roberts had time to see that and volley it away but Spurs are getting caught square too often for their own comfort perhaps spotting that the Spurs defence was vulnerable Coventry manager Gordon Milne brought on attacker Mark Haitley at the start of the second half and took off defender Paul Dyson This is Roberts. That's a foul by Chris Hewton. Well, Haitley will obviously give Coventry added strength in the air. And set pieces like this. was Haitley just proving the point well, his father was always noted for his tremendous skill jumping and heading and his son is built in very much the same mold that was Thompson that's Perryman to Hoddle and he's found Galvin and Spurs Looking now for something further forward. Brook has joined the attack on this side. Still Galvin. Crooks. Archibald, it's a bit tight in there. Here's Perryman. Hoddle to his right. Hewton is well forward. It's Chris Hewton. It's there. The experience of Steve Perryman played a part in the move. He found Glenn Hoddle. Hoddle fed the through ball. And with Keith Birkinshaw saying on the bench there, 10 minutes to go, it's 3-1 to Spurs. And Chris Hewton, who returned to the side today for the first time since Boxing Day, scores what may prove to be the conclusive goal. Come Tottenham again. Hoddle. Outside him is Gary Brook. On the far post is Crooks. That 
was Hewton's second goal of the season. And it may be the one that clinches first place in the sixth round. Mark Haitley pushing it back. Here's uh, Hewton. Spurs have got a man over in this attack if they play it right. Hoddles on the right wing. There are five the other way. And it's still Hoddle. And it's still Hoddle. And everything was right, apart from a rather feeble shot by his standards. And that's threaded through to English by Hunt. And English with a chance here puts it wide. So, activity in both penalty areas, in time being added on for injuries. Tommy English, not for the first time, clear of the defence, but this time angling his shot at the wrong side of the post. Here's Blair. And a roar goes up as Spurs reach the sixth round of the FA Cup for the third year running. Keith Birkinshaw will be hoping that this time they can go one better at least and get to the semi-final. A match they had well won, it seemed at 2-0, then gave away a goal and then came back with Chris Hewton making the telling run which clinched the game. Coventry, a little weary no doubt after the exertions at West Ham, have lost two cup ties in London in the space of just five days. <laughs>